What is the domain and range of the reciprocal function f of x equals 1 over x? To answer that question, we have to ask which values, if any, are excluded from the domain if f of x equals 1 over x. In other words, which values are valid for this function? We see that we have to exclude the 0 from the domain, because dividing by 0 is not defined. So the domain is all real numbers except 0, because when x is 0, we get 1 divided by 0, which is not a real number. The parenthesis indicates that 0 is not included in the domain. We use the union symbol here because the domain includes the numbers from 0 to negative infinity and from 0 to infinity. What about the range of this function? We see the bigger x gets, the smaller the output gets. When we plug in a 1, we get a 1 as an output. When we plug in a 10, we get a 0 0.1. When we plug in a 100, we get 0 0.01 and so on. But the output will never reach zero, right? So the zero is not included in the range. And on the other hand, when x is getting smaller, one divided by x is getting bigger. When we plug in a one, we get one as an output. When we plug in 0 0.1, we get 10. When we plug in 0 0.01, we get 100 and so on. But we'll never reach an upper bound because we can always plug in a smaller x which makes the output 1 divided by x even bigger. Recall that x can't be 0, but the closer to 0 we get, the bigger the output 1 divided by x gets. What about negative values for x's as inputs? To make it short, the closer we get to 0 as an input, the smaller the output gets. And let's say the more negative the input gets, the closer to 0 the output gets. So the range of this function goes from negative infinity to zero. And from zero to infinity. But the zero is not included in the range. Let's look at the graph to visualize that. We see visually that the bigger x gets, the closer the output gets to zero, but it will never reach zero. We say the graph is approaching a horizontal asymptote, which is in our example the x-axis. The closer x gets to zero, the bigger the output gets. But it also will never reach it. We are approaching a vertical asymptote here which is the y-axis. And we also see that the output approaches to zero as x approaches to negative infinity. And the output approaches to negative infinity when x is approaching to zero from this side. If you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.